Hey guys, welcome to Chain Gear Gaming. My name's Chain Gear, and today we are starting something new. It is my first review. That's right, guys. I'm really excited about this, and that's because in the comment section below of my other videos, you guys have told me that you're looking for me to review other video games that are free to play. And so this is my first review of a free to play game here on PlayStation 4. And this game, <laughs> it's called Kitten Squad. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. Uh, if you guys are looking at the game, play it's a kind of weird game uh, weird looking game at least anyway um, and you may be able to guess why it's free to play it kind of looks like a mobile game a little bit but we'll get into that later like I said the game is called kitten squad yes kitten squad and it is free to play to get this game go ahead and just go to the PlayStation Store um, go to games uh, there should be like a free section and you'll see all the free games that are there um, and kitten squad is one of the only games that I have not played uh, and um, not only have I not played it but I'm pretty sure it's it's pretty new uh, and this game is actually by PETA which I don't 100% know what it stands for off the top of my head but they're kind of like an animal rights activist group um, and so they made this game uh, that's you can there's some weird stuff in the game um, but it's a pretty cool game anyway uh, as you guys can see it's a top-down shooter so this bird's eye view where you're a kitten and you have a gun and you're blowing up these robot things these baddies I guess you can call them um, but it's a quest based game so you actually have this uh, overworld kind of thing where uh, you start out and it kind of looks like Legend of Zelda maybe where you go up to uh, this deer stag thing and he tells you or he or she or they tell you uh, that, that they've got these quests for you and you can pick up a quest I think it's one at a time and that opens up this door uh, at the top of the screen, and that allows you to go in and start the game. And again, it's very Legend of Zelda-like. When you see the maps, uh, as you guys can see now, there's a door that you came in, and there's a door uh, that you can go out. And that door that you can go out opens up once you kill all the bad guys inside. Um, very reminiscent to Legend of Zelda, or uh, any other games that are kind of the Binding of Isaac. Um, that's a, a an indie game that also came out recently, well, a little while ago now. Um, it's top-down shooter kind of thing. And so, uh, yeah, is twin stick so you move with one stick uh, and you and you shoot with the other one you just aim um, and it shoots in that direction uh, in terms of the mechanics well, uh, it wasn't super smooth. Um, there are really only, you're only able to shoot in uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different directions. So up, down, left, right, and then these kind of like, you know, left, up, up, right, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Like, and it, and it wasn't super smooth. It wasn't super fluid. So I wasn't able to shoot in a nice curve. It was just either like here or here. And I didn't really like that that much. But again, the game is free. So, uh, not bad. Um, besides the quests, there are also bounties. So kind of like Destiny, I guess. You can go out and get these bounties to get a certain amount of kills on these robot um, baddies. And if you killed enough of them, you would get these things called coins. And going back to the quests, or going back to the gameplay overall, when you kill a baddie, you get three items, or one of three items. You either get health, you get coins, or you get a gun. Uh, and I kind of like that part. You know, every single time you kill somebody, a whole bunch of coins drop out. Every single time you kill somebody, um, you can replenish health. There's a, there's a possibility to replenish health. And then, of course, there's the guns. And the guns are actually pretty fun to shoot. They're pretty fun to play with. Um, there's the normal shooter. Uh, the, it's kind of like... Just, um, I don't know, a basic gun or whatever, just shoots kind of rapid fire, but you're not too fast. Um, there's like a tomato gun that slows people down. There's a uh, electric gun thing. It shoots electricity and it bounces. Um, and there's all these different kinds of guns. You guys will see in the gameplay. Um, but yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I liked playing that game, actually, surprisingly, uh, and having the coins and being able to collect things. The only problem I really had with the game in terms of the gameplay going through is that... Well, it was kind of long. Yeah, my first quest actually took quite a while, and I just kind of wanted to stop playing after a while. But to mitigate that, there is actually a co-op uh, version of the game. So if you just want a game to play with uh, a friend, if you had a second controller, you can have co-op, and you can have you and your friend play, and that's not nearly as bad, right? I mean, you have you and your friend, you guys are just messing around, making all these cat jokes, whatever, shooting stuff up, I guess. Um, but definitely myself and uh, Phoenix, Ballistic Phoenix, are probably going to play this uh, 
uh, over the weekend just to try some things because another key feature of this game is it has trophies. So if you guys are trophy hunters out there, um, seriously, grab this game really quick. Just play it uh, and get some free trophies. I got a trophy. Uh, I don't even know what I did. I just kind of ran around and shoot stuff, and all of a sudden I got a trophy. So I know Vampire Peach is out there. Um, I know you're a huge trophy guy, so go ahead and pick this game up and give it a shot, especially because you can play with your friends. So... Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I guess, what are the coins used for, right? I mean, the coins, are you just grabbing all these coins, is it just for points? No, uh, it's actually for upgrades. And unfortunately, there are no gun upgrades. There are no upgrades that really change your character uh, in the way that uh, he or she, or, again, they play. But there is cosmetic changes. And so, you know, I guess that works too. Um, again, you know, the game is free to play. So being able to change your, your character cosmetically, getting these coins, um, kind of makes you feel more like a, um, you know, uh, BA going around, again, shooting these random robots but but yeah that's pretty much the full game uh, there really isn't that much more left in there there are um one or two maybe other npcs that you can go talk to one just tells you really sad facts about animals the other one no no that's about it there's the bounties guy and then there's the um the uh, quest giver and then there's the shop which allows you to go get those cosmetics so that's it that is pretty much it that's the whole game yeah yeah, that's it. It's crazy, right? <laughs> um, but like I said, it's free to play. So if I was to, you know, actually review the game and give you guys a recommendation, I wouldn't tell you like, you know, five out of ten or you know, three stars out of five. I would just say that if you're looking for some trophies or looking to play a quick game with a friend, don't want to spend any money, it was less than a gig. Go ahead and download the game. It's, it's definitely worth it. If you have a friend that maybe just bought a PlayStation Four and it doesn't really have a ton of money to drop, go ahead and get Kitten Squad. You might be a little embarrassed to play it with your friends um, or play online and show people that you're playing um, but you know hey I think it's totally worth it especially for the trophies seriously uh, but that's it for me guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I, I know it was kind of weird you know gonna review kitten squad but seriously give it a check out you know it's free so um, that's it like this video if you like it dislike it if you dislike it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below subscribe for more awesome chain gear gaming goodness whether it be for myself chain gear or from my partner Ballistic Phoenix. Otherwise, I will see you guys online and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.